Yeah, hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and today we are going to learn about the list and how we can create a list view in our Flutter application as well as the Swift UI and the Jetpack Compose. So let us get started over here and first of all I'll go and create uh, I guess a new screen over here and let's create a list view underscore uh, cr screen dot the dot file or you can give her any name over here so i'll just create a state list over here because i'm not going to use any state over here so i'll just create a list view scr in screen over here and let's rename or let's import the package from the material and over here in the container what we'll do is uh, we'll say a scaffold uh, scaffold over here and now let's add the app bar over here and app bar that should be fine and then next is we will add our body over here so in the body what we will do is let's add the uh, list uh, view dot the builder from here and uh, with this uh, builder we need to pass in the if you check over here we need to pass in the build context and the int so let's pass in the uh, context and the index over here so that should be fine once we got that here is a double parenthesis let me close that one okay so once we got this what we will do is next is let's add the item count over here so let's add the item count and we want to say around of 50 item of, uh, over here so we want to load a 50 item over here so once we are done with that let's go and grab our card view from here so previously we have created the card view and i'll copy the whole card from here and uh, i guess it should be till here so let me copy this one and i'll just paste it over here and return from here the card view that we have so we don't have to create the card view it was already created on the previous lecture and if you haven't watched my previous lecture make sure you go and watch that one about the card because in this lecture i'm not going to uh, create this card view again right so i'm just going to reuse my previous widget so once i re rearrange everything uh, let me I arrange the intent tension over here and what I will do is I'll just go and change that particular uh, text title that we have over here to use the uh, index uh, I guess index is zero so uh, I guess we have to use it to make it a uh, one over here so let's add a one over here to our particular index over here and subtitle you can do the same thing if you want to add the value over here so uh the for the subtitle let's just give it as a index over here so i end the x index okay so let's try to uh run our application for that i need to go to over here and remove this one with the uh list view screen that we have created and let's run our project from here and once you run your project you can see that we got our nice looking list view with a card that we have previously created and we get a correct index over here so that's cool so we have a list of the item right and uh, let's do the same thing on our uh, swift ui so let me open up my swift ui project and in our swift ui project let's go and create a one new view over here and let's go and create a new file and let's select the swift ui view click on next and let's give a name for this one as a list view i guess that should be fine just create that list view over here and let's remove this one from here and let's add the list from here and in the list i will uh, add the item so let's say from one to the um, let's say we were doing up to 50 so let's add that one 
and also it takes the uh, id over here and id let's uh, make it as the self so uh, that will be of the dot the self id self and once we have that uh, list of our item we want to create from 1 to 50 over here and here what we want to do is we want to get the same card view that we have previously used so i'll just uh, copy the same thing the jet stack from here and uh, i'll just go and uh, paste it over here so the same thing let me arrange this one properly over here and uh, what i will do is i will just go and uh, rename some of this stuff over here and i need uh, to pass in the uh, the value of the index so let's pass in the value over here so i will just say on num in the uh, this particular list so this num we will just go and or you can just pass in the num or anything you can just so i'll just go and pass in that num over here and uh, then that should be fine so if you want to do the same thing over here let's pass in that particular uh, value over here and let's try to rebuild our this particular view from here and once you load that you can see we have a nice looking uh, list of our card that we have previously created over here so i guess it's a 50 card over here and that's pretty fast and pretty cool right so what i can also do is if i want to make it a negative value of a minus one then it should be that should load us okay so i guess that's not correct and yeah so that should be fine so subtitle is f0 over here so this is the simple list view with our swift ui and let's move on to our jetpack compose so let me open up my project so here in our project in the previous lesson we have created a card and here we we'll, let's go and create a new add a composable function and that composable function let's give a name of the uh, profile or the card list or the card list view or something so let's create that particular function and inside this function first of all let's create a list so i'll just say a val and i'll just say a user or something over here and that will be of the let's create a list of the numbers so i'll just say from 1 to the 50 and i'll just convert this one to a list so once we have that list of the user from 1 to 50 what we can do is we can go and create a lazy uh, column because that's how we create a list over here with the lazy column and over here uh, i guess i don't want to define anything with this particular lazy column property but what we are interested on is the lazy list scope so you can see that you you get a list of over here and lazy column by default is a scrollable so we don't have to add any of the modifier to scroll it and inside this what i can do is i have the option to add the itms items and with these items i can add the uh, itms items to over here and these items will be of the uh, i guess it should be of the users right so since this is a list so i'll just pass in that list over here and once we got that and now we got an item over here so with this item what i will do is i'll just say this each uh, data over here and we get that particular data so once we have that data i'll just go and grab my card view that i previously created so let me grab this one from here and let's copy this one from here to here too so what we will do over here is we will modify the um, the value of our text so here we have this particular value of the uh, data over here and here too so i'll just see uh, the, the uh, data over here and that should be fine 
and you can also i guess do the string interpolation and let's try to do the same thing that we did in our flutter and the shift ui i'll just uh give a minus one and uh, then what i can do is uh let me try to run this one so before i can run it i can just copy this one and put it on here over here so that should set us the content and all if you want to preview it you can also go to that particular uh, preview over here and pass in that particular function so let's try to split it as well as run this one over here and now once you run it you can see you got a nice looking list over here and that's how we create a list with the a simple list uh, basically a simple list with the jetpack compose right as well as with the swift ui and with our flutter project over here so i guess that's all with this and we will meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day